What's up, world? This is going to be real quick. I see a lot of posts recently, especially this morning and last night, about and pull over. About a lot of people, especially women, going through certain traumas and things of that sort, and like they're trying to heal from them. You know, or they're talking about bad relationships they've been in. And the, the, the underlying thing is uh like how the, the man or the male figure that they were dealing with at that time, you know, the role that he played into it, you know, either it was all his fault or, um, you know, he played into it. My issue is it's the person that you picked. A lot of times it's easy for us to put the blame on the other person because of the people that we pick. Number one, women. And this is especially for women. Did you ensure that the person you were dating was a man? Not a boy or not a male, but a man. See, when you're dealing with a boy, which could be immature, or a male, which could also be immature, not fully developed, not fully formed, mentally, physically, everything, right? When you're dealing with those two things, of course, things are going to come up, you know, traumas are going to happen. Why? Because they say women mature faster than men. So if you're dealing with somebody immature and your needs are not being met and they're playing with you this and this and this, that's what's expected. You can't put a kindergartner in, in college classes and expect them to excel. It's not going to happen. So a lot of times we, just saying in general, have to take accountability for what has happened. We in this case, women have to sit down and say, did I truly date a man or did I date a boy? Did I date somebody who was willing to go the lengths that I needed them to go to for us to grow properly? Or did I date for physicality or for looks or for money or for status? Why did I choose that person? Was I emotionally involved when I chose that person? Did not choose that person logically? These are things that has to be asked before we totally put the blame on other people. Now, the way to get past dealing with these past traumas, the quickest way is to take accountability. Were there red flags that you saw, but you overlooked due to them thinking, due to you believing that they may grow, may change, may be a better person? These are things that we have to ask ourselves. A lot of times we overlook red flags. A lot of times we don't choose properly. A lot of times we choose with, you know, our, our, um, our parts, let me put it like that. We choose with what makes feels us, makes us feel alive. You know, we choose with that and not with, with this. So a lot of times, yes, granted, the other person did do that, but we invited them into it. And this goes for everybody across the board. I've been through stuff where I could put the blame on somebody else, but then I have to say, I have to be accountable for my actions. I have to be accountable for what has happened because I let that person in. Now, the strength of being accountable is now you're allowed to see where you went wrong and now you can choose better. Same thing. So when I take accountability for people I've chosen in the past or things of that sort, guess what I'm able to do now? I'm able to say, because I did that, now I can grow and I can choose better for me and my situation. So ladies, this one's especially for you. When you look down in the past, of people you dated that it didn't go right, you no know, past traumas, whatever the case may be, that may be tied to a man or male, may be tied to him or he's involved. Really sit down and ask yourself, was that a man or a boy slash male? That's all. Y'all be safe. Wait, let me finish. Because a lot of times when they say, you know, they're inconsistent or they forget things or, you know, they're not on point, they don't handle their business. You're dealing with a boy. A real man, he's going to have his, sh his shit in order. He's going to have his shit in line. His woman is going to be a direct representation of him. So why would he treat you bad? Why would he want you to look bad? Why would he not put you on game? Why would he leave you behind? That's a boy. Because a boy is trying to compete. A boy is living in fear. He's not living in abundance. His ego can be shattered. Not a man. Not a real man. His ego can't be shattered. So... You know, the arguments and the back and forth about his feelings being hurt and all that, it doesn't really happen because a man is able to take certain things. That don't mean you just dish it out, you know, without no reason, just because you can't. No. A real man is going to set boundaries before he does anything to harm or hurt you. He will leave the situation before he gets into that combativeness. If you were ever dating somebody and it felt like you were dating another female with the genitals, okay, you were dating another man who acted like a woman, you were dating a boy probably a boy raised by his mother.
that's still a, a mama's boy, right? So, really ask yourself. Let's take accountability and let's really ask ourselves. And for the cases where you were dealing with a man, you know, he could have been just narcissistic or he could have just not wanted the best for you or he could have been controlling it could have been a whole host of other things. You know, if he was really a man who handled his business but he just mistreated you, it could be a lot of other things. In that case, then we can go further. But for the surface level and a lot of other things, we have to really ask ourselves, did we really date a man? Did we date a boy or a male? You know, and what part of accountability can we accept so we can go uh, further and gain more in our life and be our highest and best per people best persons or whatever the case may be i hope this helps somebody y'all be safe love and blessings